You all know Munich as the home of FC Bayern. This is where the club has its headquarters and where they play the home games. It's where our players celebrate their titles and live with their families, and an absolute paradise for Bayern fans. But there's much more to the city. Let's take a bit of a closer look at it. The name München comes from the old High German Muniken, meaning by the monks place, as the city was founded by monks and was first mentioned in 1158. It's the biggest city in Germany that is not a city-state. And Munich is located further north than any major city in the US, excluding Alaska, of course. Okay, so we've got the basic facts down, but the best way to get to know a city is taking a tour. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now, but not just any tour. We're gonna do it David Alaba and Holger Batschua style. So this is our rickshaw and this is our tour guide Tapio. He's going to show us all around town today and maybe we'll even come across one of the Bayern stars. So no time to lose. Let's go. Here we are at Marienplatz. It's the city center of Munich. Here in the middle we can see the Marias column. And that's why it's called Marienplatz, Mariah Square. I have the slight feeling that this place might look familiar to many of you. Why is that, Tapio? FC Bayern on the balcony is always having a celebration for the championship. On we go to Viktualienmarkt, Munich's most famous food market. Established in 1807, it has evolved from farmer's market into a gourmet heaven and attracts locals and tourists alike. Just around the corner is the world-famous Munich Hofbräuhaus and the city's bling boulevard Maximilianstrasse, topped by the opera and former royal palace. Now we arrived at the Odeon Square, Odeon's Platz in German, and here we have the Feldherrnhalle. Here we can see the Victory Gate, Siegestor. Welcome to Munich's Green Heart, the English Garden. It's the locals' favorite summer hangout and a hot spot for surfers. Yeah, that's right. Since 1972, a man-made wave has attracted surfers to the English Garden, and there have even been competitions held on Germany's most famous wave. But we're still in Munich, so there's one thing that can't be missing. The Chinese Tower Beer Garden. It's the second biggest beer garden in Munich and maybe the most popular one. And these are the only people allowed into the tower. The members of a brass band that various times a week fill the Chinese Tower with Bavarian spirit. A merger of cultures that perfectly symbolizes the melting pot of traditions and foreign influences that is Munich, embodied as well by FC Bayern. Right, Tapio? Yeah, when you go abroad, you say you're from Munich, okay, there's two things people think about. It's Oktoberfest, maybe number one, or FC Bayern. Bayern is a symbol for the area and for the city. I think it's attracting many people to Munich. 